Hi loves, welcome to my channel, this mama loves Disney. Okay, so um, I know that some of you probably can't find some of this stuff in your area and I apologize for that. But um, I just wanted to say that, you know, you never know if you can, you know, check out one of your dollar stores in your area. You never know what you'll find inside of them. Um, this happens to be a dollar store called Dollar King. Um, I ended up going in there looking for some Jingle Bells. And I ended up uh, getting these ones right here. Can you see that? I ended up getting some of these little Jingle Bells um, to use with um, some of my crafting goodies. Um, I also ended up picking up some of these plastic containers. You can technically find these plastic containers everywhere. I think even um, Dollar Tree um, has some of these plastic containers. They don't have... Um, uh, this actual name on it, but um, you can find little containers that are similar to this size at Dollar Tree. I picked up some of these little hair barrettes. Um, the reason being is I have a craft idea for these, so I did pick up three packs of these and wish that I would have found more of these ones because I like that uh, tie right there, but... Um, I wasn't able to, so I did get what I could find for some projects. And then um, I thought these would be cute to add to Happy Mail for Easter um, with the little bright Easter colors. I needed some more invisible tape after the holidays. I used most of what I had already stored up. Um, I did pick up some more of these little mini containers that I have been um, sharing on my channel that I use for um, uh, shaker mixes. And then these key tags, I thought, I don't know, I just picked them up because I thought, you know, this there might be a really cute way to gift these. Not so much gift these, but add them to some of your, um, you know, Add them to some of your crafting. Um, happy Mail. Um, you could probably pull the one piece out, put a thicker piece in, put maybe a sticker on there or something, or you can put stickers on the outside. I mean, there's got to be some way to make these really super cute and adorable. So I did pick these up thinking that these would be really cute on some Happy Mail. And I did find one of these necklaces, and um, I thought, well... I was looking at it and I thought I can use the I could go ahead and take this all apart I can use the little beads that are here I can use the chain then I saw the, all these colorful little beads here that just reminded me of Easter so I thought well I can use those and then of course there's a couple tassels that are on here as well so I did pick that up and then there were these little plastic dishes. You could probably find these as well at Dollar Tree too. So my thought was on these, I don't know how, I know everybody has a different way of crafting, but I have these little cups that sometimes, not this one, I just happen to have these ones right here. But sometimes I have these little these little cups around because, um, I'll just keep them on my, when I'm crafting, I'll just keep them around because I never know if there's going to be like little pieces that I'm working with. And so I'll just keep them around. Or if I take apart, like right here, you can tell that I took apart um, a necklace. And so here's the chain. And here's some of the little dangles that were inside there. And of course, you can see some other pieces, you know, I'm probably doing something else. So I took this all apart and then I had this little cup that was sitting nearby so that I could keep all the pieces in here. So my thought was, because all of us have like, you know, little small intricate pieces that we're working with a lot of the times, that um, whether it be charms or these little buttons or something, that I thought it would be cute to uh, decorate the bottoms. You can put something on the bottom or you can leave the bottom flat, but I don't know. I was just thinking, how cute would these be to decorate this and gift it to someone? You can personalize it. So, you know, I have friends that love Disney 
and I can go ahead and trace the inside of there and then I can put in here um, a picture say I put I can use either you know you can either use the backing of a piece of paper with pictures on it or you can use a solid color and then you can put some stickers on here and then you can put it on there and you can either put some glossy accents around there and make it so you know it stays or you can actually spray paint it but just make it so it's like a little personal little um, dish that somebody could set on their crafting table for all those little tiny pieces that you're always afraid that are going to roll off or say for instance you're working with um, making some charms and um, not charms, dangles and say when I go to take all these little pieces off I can keep them in there and so I have everything you know all the little small pieces inside here so that I could just grab them out and they won't roll all over my table but I don't know it was just we're all trying to think of different things we can alter different ways that we can craft you know little cute things that are personalized and this is just one of those little things that I thought about I thought this would be a really cute way to personalize some little holders and I mean you know you got to think about it because they are small and if you are going to gift some of these you might want to gift them in a two pack or you can gift them in a four pack you know or you can gift a whole container of them you know to different friends and that they can use them on their tables and if you are working with your bead work you can s separate them all out and put all your different beads in them so it was just a thought. I'm always looking at stuff and trying to figure out, okay, what can I, how can I alter that? <laughs> but I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next crafty video. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.